decided to be a little different. It was uh, skateboarding and hockey, and uh, probably two uh, very different sports, but um, you know, that's, that's what we did as kids growing up. He seemed to favor hockey more, though he got a late start at the age of seven and wasn't exactly surrounded by ice growing up in Torrance, California in the mid-1980s. Rinks were very spread out and, um, you know, believe it or not, ice time was, uh, was available a lot because no one really played. And uh, my home arena in uh, Torrance, Bay Harbor, we had, uh, we had a, a, a great owner who just kind of let us skate whenever we wanted. Richard's first team would later become a big rival, but these flyers called Brea California home. He would later change colors to purple and gold and felt like a king. We had a travel team, the LA Junior Kings, and, and uh, it definitely isn't uh, what, where that organization is now because the Junior Kings are really good right now. So uh, it's kind of makeshift, and that was the first year Gretzky was there. and We had a really good team. As hockey began to take off in LA, Park's talent on the ice would force him to do the same. So in his early teens, Park took off for Canada, leaving his skateboard behind. When I got to Toronto, that I realized that my teammates back in LA could have could have played. Uh, they they had the talent to play, and that's I think something that I never really, you know, made much of. But uh, it dawned on me that uh, you know the California kids weren't bad at, at that age. The move would pay off. Park would play for the U.S. Select Team before becoming a second-round pick of the Penguins in 1994. Not bad for a kid who grew up on hockey in Southern California. You definitely don't think of doing, you don't envision uh, ever doing this, I think, as when you first start out, uh, definitely from L.A., but, uh, um, you know, it was, it, was a, it, was a, it was great.